Hello, welcome to how to grow antirhinum from seed. The first step is to buy some seeds. They're available online or at garden centres. On the reverse of the packet show growing times and conditions for your region. Step 2. Plant the seeds in a propagator tray. A propagator tray is a shallow tray with a transparent lid which is ideal for germinating seeds. First fill the tray with compost. Now water the compost. We're doing it now because if you do it after the seeds have been added it can wash them away. Now take the seeds and sprinkle them as finely as you can on top of the compost. Cover the seeds with a fine layer of compost and then press down firmly to remove any air pockets. Add a label and then fit the transparent plastic lid. Step 3 Keep warm and watered. I place my propagator trays in a south facing room but not in direct sunlight. Step 4. After 7 to 14 days the seeds will begin to germinate. Step 5. When the seedlings have at least two sets of full leaves it's time to transplant them into pots. First water the seedlings as this makes them easier to remove. Remove one of the seedlings, trying to remove as much root with it as you can. Fill a pot with compost and then water. Then make a hole in the centre of the compost using your thumb or a stick. Insert the seedling into the hole and then carefully press the compost around the roots. Hold the seedling by a leaf and not the stem. Now finally give the plants a good watering. Step 6. When the risk of any frost has passed, it's time to plant them outside. I'm going to plant mine in this border. First dig the soil. Mark out the planting position. Leave a gap of at least 10 to 12 inches. I'm leaving more as I'm planting other plants in between. Give the plants a good watering before transplanting them. Dig a small hole in the soil, then remove the plant from the pot and insert it into the hole. Backfill the hole with soil and then gently press around the root. They give the plants a good soaking. Final step, after three to four weeks flowers will begin to appear and then gradually develop into a beautiful display.
Thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it informative. Please like it if you have and please subscribe to my YouTube channel where there are plenty more gardening videos. Thank you and goodbye.